Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 22 titled Chain An Impossible Revival The Name is Ginyu Now, this episode might as well have been titled Dragon Ball Super Episode 22 Plot Hole Central because this episode was garbage. I do not think it was very good. I think it had some good moments. The moments in it that were good were really done very well. But some of the other moments were not done very well. What do I mean by this? Let me tell you. Number one. Gotenks defusing right when he showed up doesn't make any sense. Gotenks can fly around the entire world. In under a mi in under thirty minutes, in a Super Saiyan form, prior to his hyperbolic time chamber training, there is no reason in hell that it would take him thirty minutes to get there to the battlefield. And that is assuming Goten and Trunks fuse right, like, you know, right when they left Castle Court. That is going under that assumption. Which I think is very unlikely. Though that doesn't make any fucking sense. But that is not all. There are a couple of other things in this episode that don't make sense. Number two. In this episode, Ginyu as a frog writes the word change in an alien language. Togoma sees it and then says the word change. And that activates the body change technique. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Last time I checked, according to the manga and the anime, especially the anime according to filler, and that appeared to be what they were going off of, because Bulma seemed to be having a bad memory of when, you know, Ginyu got in her body for a little bit. Remember that? Yeah, Ginyu. Bulma seemed to be remembering that. So they appear to be including filler in this shit, which doesn't make a sense at all. But, what happened, and this still didn't say disturbed me and weirded me out. Well, it disturbed and weirded me out. That Ginyu, it worked. Why is it that Togoma thing chain after they body change? It doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't. What should happen is that... What just should happen is that... Ginyu had to say chain from a technique... To work. But putting that aside, there is another plot hole in this episode. And now let's talk about that plot hole. This plot hole heavily involved Goku during the Namek Saga. When Ginyu switched body with Goku during the Namek Saga, it was proven that Ginyu cannot just automatically know how to use the body to its full power. It was stated in the episode so he was using Togoma's full power. That doesn't make any sense, alright? Because according to, during that, the Namek Saga, when Goku and Ginyu were in the different body, Goku even said, You don't know how to use my body, therefore you can't use its full power. That's not very hard to figure out, alright? That is something that really, really did bother me. It just, I didn't understand why they did that. Another And another thing about the episode that annoyed me, this isn't even a plot hole, but it really bothered me, was why is every fucking flashback old animation? I am sorry, make it episode 5 level quality if you want. But don't use 90s animation in 2015. You don't do it. It's fucking pathetic. And it really pisses me off. Because it, it, it messes up with the flow of the episode, in my opinion. Everything is flowing nice. Then I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, what am, what am I watching? It looks so fucking old. It gets me out of my, like, groove. Like, it stops me from enjoying the episode. It really does. So I talked about the Gotenks one, I talked about the Onyx. 
So there is one more plot hole in this episode, according to my memory. I just don't remember what it was. Okay, it was Ginyu being brought back to life. After Majin Buu killed everybody on the planet, or Super Buu at least, the Z Fire used a Dragon Ball to remake all people that were good. All good people and anybody who had bad which they did. Unless, unless this, is, this is like a Geekdom said in his review. Unless this is the kind of thing where, like, Ginyu thinks Frieza's the good guy. Unless Ginyu thinks Frieza's the good person. And, unless in Ginyu mind he's doing the right thing. I guess. Or maybe, maybe. Harunga didn't consider what Ginyu did wrong. I really don't know how any of that worked. I mean, Ginyu killed people ruthlessly. He's a ruthless killer. He did a, a lot of bad things in his life. Obviously, he worked for fucking Frieza. So I don't really see how you can go in that direction with it. You can disagree with me all you want. I, just, I don't think Ginyu should have been brought back. And he well he should have been brought back according to what they said in the episode. So that is a plot hole. Now here is another plot hole. Not another plot hole, but thing that annoyed me. Alright? The good thing that annoyed me in general. This is not a great movie episode, but Gohan was a lot Gohan's power scaling in this look weird. If to go was able to take out Piccolo, right? But then Gohan is still able to take out Togoma, but Piccolo and Gohan, Piccolo, Gohan appears to be in your average Super Saiyan level right now, right? Like around your average Super Saiyan, like around what Goku probably was when he became a Super Saiyan, or maybe a little bit stronger. Piccolo and Gohan should be around the same level. I, I, it, it, they make it, uh, uh, they make me think Piccolo should be stronger than Gohan. That's what I think, that is my opinion. I don't think Gohan beating him when Piccolo got one guided by him makes a lot of sense, but whatever. But I did, there were a couple of strong points in this episode. You know, let me talk about those. One of the strong points of the episode was that when Goten showed up, and ran to go among the balls. I got a good laugh. I thought that was awesome. Also, seeing Frieza react to Goten and Trunk was awesome. I wish, I really wish he would have actually done something instead of just sat there. But you know, that's that's a minor thing, really. You know, I was just because I I wasn't been excited for this for a long time. But or who really cared about that? But there is another thing in this episode that I liked. And that was when Frieza shot up Gohan. That was beautiful. The side for there not being blood, that bothered me. However, I did really, really like certain elements of it. Like how sadistic Frieza was while torturing Gohan in that one part. I loved it. Because after Gohan went Super Saiyan, the fight to Goma, or Ginyu, Frieza was like, bitch, I'll handle this, and started like torturing Gohan, and I liked that. And Gohan was about to die, and, and the episode ended with Piccolo taking the blast for Gohan. Now, if it wasn't for G the preview showing Goku and Vegeta fighting him in that episode, I would think that we're going to see Gohan get like a raid boost and actually give Frieza and his base a teeny bit of trouble. Not a lot of trouble, but maybe like he did on Namek. Like, we know it doesn't really matter in the end. But, you know, he'll, he'll give Mick, he'll challenge him a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. But Gohan even said, I can't bring out my full power anymore because I haven't been training. I'm hoping maybe at this thing with Piccolo will make Gohan suck it up and have to start training again. I'm really hoping that happens. I really am. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, there were other good parts of the episode here and there. But, you know... If I honestly, I did not. I mean, it, some of the cool parts of the episode were cool, but overall, I did. I was more annoyed than I was. I got more. There were things that annoyed me to such an extent that it did not make up for being the amount of enjoyment I had. So, guys, if I had to rate this episode, I would give it. I don't even know. Maybe five out of ten. 
that's nine out of ten. At the most, I would give it a seven out of ten. It just, just like a, and like a six point seven out of ten. It's a six point seven out of ten. That, in my opinion, please God, don't go off on me in the comments. In my opinion, in my opinion, you can have yours. In fact, why don't you tell me what you thought of the episode in the comments section down below? I'd love to hear it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.